Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about Python, how to have the basic environment for Python, and how to write your first program. Python is a widely used, high-level programming language for general purpose programming. It was created by Guido von Russum and first released in 1991. Thinking about starting with Python, but you don't know where and how to start? Maybe you are looking at your laptop and the distro that you're using and you're not exactly sure if that's enough. Before deciding where you want to code, you should ask yourself two vital questions. What is the environment that you are most comfortable in right now? Is it Mac? Or have you been happy using Windows? Maybe you are a purist and believe everything Linux. What is your end goal? Maybe you want to create desktop GUI apps for Windows users. Maybe it's a web application that you want to design. So ask yourself what convinced you to pick up Python. Ask yourself these two questions and based on the answer, choose a programming platform. Python is a cross-platform, general-purpose programming language. It is supported on all major platforms, be it Windows, Mac, or Linux. Please choose the platform based on what you want to build. If you want to build general-purpose, web-based apps, you can build them on any of the platforms. On the other hand, if you are doing something that is platform dependent, such as building desktop apps, you should use that specific platform for your purposes. Let's look at Linux installation. The latest versions of CentOS, Fedora, Red Hat Enterprise, RHEL, and Ubuntu come with Python 2.7 out of the box. Arch Linux has a rolling release policy and hence they come with Python 3.6 out of the box. For Ubuntu, you probably will need to install some PPAs first. Here are the ones you can install. After that, the normal apt-get command should do it. For Windows and Mac users, you can download the Windows executable and directly install it. Click on the download link. This should open the buttons for the download links. Download the appropriate version and then click the executable. This should start the installer. Now, let me talk a little bit about Anaconda, which is an alternate Python distribution. Anaconda is an open source package that packs in the most widely used Python packages that are used for data science. So, if you are installing Python with the aim of building a data science machine learning app, you should install Anaconda. To install, you go to the Anaconda webpage and click the link for the OS which you use. Once you have installed the Python program, you are ready to write your first Python program. 1. Open your terminal and type Python. This should open a prompt. 2. Type in print, hello world, and then press enter. 3. You should see hello world being printed out. Voila! You have your first Python program. The program above was written in interactive mode. When commands are read from a terminal, the interpreter is said to be in interactive mode. In this mode, it prompts for the next command with the primary prompt, usually three greater than signs. For continuation, lines it prompts with the secondary prompt. By default, it's three dots. The interpreter prints a welcome message stating its version number and a copyright notice before printing the first prompt. Writing Python programs on the interpreter only takes your program so far. You will need to eventually save your programs in a file and run them directly. I am opening a file, hello.py, through Vim. Here, I'll write the program print hello world, which should print hello world. In Vim, you save the file by typing this, semicolon wq, exclamation mark period. This should take you to the bash prompt. Check if the file is present. After that, pass the file hello.py as an argument to the program command python, and this should execute the file and print hello world. 